All right, let's talk about the Jimmy bet. Okay, say what the Jimmy bet is. Uh, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be on this team this year. You don't. You think the Niners are going to get rid of Jimmy. My, the bet is that on the first regular season game, I'm saying Jimmy will no longer be on the roster, and you're saying he will. Yes. And so we're, betting, not- we're betting a a, a Beaujolais of 30, at least $35. Yes. So John Lynch went on KMBR yesterday and was asked about this. And again, he reiterated, like, we're not cutting Jimmy. We're not going to cut him. We were close to trading him before he had the uh, surgery. That derailed everything. He's either going to be on our team or we're going to get the value from him in a trade, is what he said. Now, he could, he could, you know, change his mind, but it seems like the Niners have said that publicly so many times that it would be pretty tough to change their mind and cut him. Maybe a trade market emerges late, but it seems like – Every team has their starting quarterback now, except for Seattle. So do you still think that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to get cut or traded? Yes. And why? I think, okay. Okay. Because to have him on the roster when the regular season starts is a form of football suicide. Agreed. And as inept as the 49ers front office is, and dude, they are inept. I don't think they're completely insane. That's a great <laughs> argument. That's a great <laughs> argument. Because, because my argument rests on the logic that they are completely insane. <laughs> so what we're talking about is degrees of insanity. Dad, I just feel like the fact that he's still on the roster to this day is completely insane. Completely insane that he's still I on the agree. roster. So I don't know. So you're saying that just they'll just continue <laughs> down the lane of insanity. Yes. And I'm saying at some point that the, they're going to detour at some point toward the end. At some point, miles down this road, they'll realize, wow, this is the insanity road. It's not too late to turn back. It's yeah. not. But the thing is, the Niners think there's going to be a payoff at the end. If they, let's say the option is cut them, or maybe someone offers like, we'll give you a sixth round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. They could just keep them. And if he leaves in free agency next year, they would get a compensatory pick the year after from the NFL after round three or four, just a free pick. And the Niners could say, we'll take it. Ridiculous. It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. All, okay. I, I hear what you're saying. Iggy, all I'm thinking is Trey Lance is the starter. Huh? Jimmy Garoppolo is standing on the sideline. Yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo is Pissed. pissed it's not like he, i mean he may smile and stuff but he's yeah. pissed yes and he's saying to guys yes he's you saying open. kittle you're open I'm better you i could open. you know yeah. you go across the middle i i'm i'm good yeah so that's happening one yeah that's not talk about a locker room they now you have a locker room in chaos yeah he, you walk over to debo i would have thought it to you on that you're open on third and seven yeah, yeah this guy sucks Yep. Yeah. Now, the other thing is, if Trey Lance has some bad games, because mm-hmm. remember, he's just really a rookie. Yeah. And then they put Jimmy in. Now you've lost Trey Lance. Yes. Now he's yeah. the one you've lost. And that's your you, first round pick next year, too. You've crushed him. Yeah. So there are so many, I'm going to say, downsides. Right. To, to keeping him. But again, if they are as insane as you think they are, God love them, keep them. And boy, would that be something to comment on? You, you get so many more viewers if they keep Jimmy. Dad, if I told you before the off season that the Niners would have the option to cut Jimmy Garoppolo and use $17.5 million in cap space immediately and another $7.5 million later on when he uh, clears, passes a physical. If I told you they could do that, and they chose not to, and they didn't sign that many free agents, would you believe me? I would think you were insane. I would think you're insane, right? No, no team would do that. And I think that's what Jimmy was thinking. I think Jimmy and his agent were thinking, look, if you have this surgery right before free agency, the Niners will have to cut you because they're not insane. They're going to want to spend the cap space. They've budgeted. They think they're going to trade you. They want to sign some players. So you have surgery. They won't be able to trade you. They'll cut you so they can do execute their plan. The Niners are like, no, we're crazy. We're insane. <laughs> you you miscalculated. We're insane. We're willing to take this to the end of time. That's what I feel. 
Right. You're giving yeah. us credit for being sane, but that's no. weird. We don't care. We didn't even, you know, I, and I still feel the, the fact that they're going with so many young players makes me feel like they're not not contending this year, but their eyes are to the future. They're looking at 2023, 2024 when Trey Lance has a little experience. This year it's like, oh, we missed free agency this year. Who cares? We don't even know if our quarterback's any good. <laughs> we, don't, we know nothing about our team. And, and, we're, to me. and we're spending less. Yes. We just we, we plan to spend less this year. So, oh, joke's on you, buddy. I No, I think I'm winning this bet, Dad. I'm very confident. Okay. The, the insanity clause. It's the insanity clause. <laughs> they should make Jimmy a tight end like Tim Tebow. Oh, boy. No. Right. Jim, Jimmy's future is in commercials. I think he's a natural. I'm sorry. <laughs> Debo for Derrick Henry. Fair trade. Um, Didn't Derrick Henry get hurt? Yeah, you know why? Because running backs get hurt. Yeah. No, don't do that. Uh, Jay Rico says, if Debo hates the Niners, why would Debo make and wear a shirt that says Debo is back with him in the Niners uniform during the draft? So you'll buy it? I, think I don't he's know. Coming back. Yeah, maybe maybe he's coming back. Maybe you just bought it. Oh, we got that. Okay, let's go to the last topic. Wait, of wait I want to ask you a question. Yeah. You know how uh, by my house, there's a lot of vegetation and they have to get rid of it, you know, before the fire inspection? Yes. Yes. So Mr. Tran is out there, uh, you know, with his and doing it. I hear him. Is it interrupting? Is it hurting? No, no, it's 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 charming. <laughs> you can hear it though. A little bit. Yes. Yep. Okay. I love Mr. Tran. Once a month. I just remember it was that was it once a month? How long is it? Yeah, once a month. Once For a month. Forever. Yeah, he's thorough.